Halo. Hai. How are we today? Apparently my mic, uh, normal mic decided to not work. Probably should have tested that before we started. <laughs> oh well. Um, are we? I'm very much uh, law today, as you can tell by my appearance. I literally can't even try. I'm still in this type. So, you know. Happy Monday, I guess. We definitely having a kick to the Mondays. Number one. <laughs> I think I got punched in the face. I promise I didn't. I'm fine. I'm also really sad because I'm pretty sure my mic's going to sound like shit now. So I'm not using my normal one and I have to use this one. I don't know what happened. Like, all of my settings are set up to be the proper one. That one and make sure. Oh, it's like not even working, period. Unplug. Um, plug in. Now mute. There, okay, well. Whatever. Let me try switching it real quick. See if it works. Bear with me. I apologize. I probably should have checked this before it started. Oh. Okay. Well, apparently I just needed to unplug. This is how it works, isn't it? Dumb. Um, anyway. <laughs> how are we? We've been having a conversation in Discord because uh kind of sick of League at the moment. I don't know. Just not doing it for me. I think I'm just sick of this meta. And there's no fun game right now either, so. I'm bored of ARAM. I don't want to play normal. Because those games take too long. <laughs> That's really kind of what it boils down to. But. Yeah. So I, being the innovative, awesome, amazing person that I am, uh, downloaded a new game. I'm gonna try it. Oh, my hair. Take over how bad it will hold up. We're just gonna fix this problem. Once and with a hat. Yep. This works for me. Um, to be honest, I don't remember what the game's called. What is it called? Oh, yes. Uh, it is Beacon Pines. Um, I got it on the Xbox Play Store. I've eyeballed it a few times and I was like, oh, this seems interesting. Um, we're gonna give it a try. I haven't watched any gameplay. I haven't done anything with it except open it make sure that I have a scene that will show it and that's pretty much it um yeah it looked adorable and it deals with like animals I like animals so we're gonna go with it you guys get to see how truly ugly I am oh, <laughs> oh man we are struggling. I um, honestly didn't know if I was going to stream today because, oh God. Positive vibes only. You're not ugly. Boo. My sister just texted me. So we do um, nail dip uh, at home. And she just texted me to check out the brand that we use. Um, every year they do like a 12 days of Christmas and they day for Christmas. And this year the colors were not all that impressive. So she just texted me to look at their um, stories on social media because of um, 
they showed the colors in on an actual hand because they show swatches online. I'm not sponsored. I'm not anything by them, but it's easier to explain if I can show. Okay. So again, not sponsored. I'm not telling you to buy this. I'm just showing you because we're so they've got these 12 days of Christmas colors, right? And so this is one of the colors. Like it doesn't look all that impressive here. And on other colors, they show uh, uh, like actual manners of it because what they show in this picture is not the same. I'm gonna go to Facebook, but I also don't want you guys to see. Oh, I need to. I think we'll be okay. Uh. No, that doesn't change. No, it doesn't change my mind. This, whoop, 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 whoop. this first one's kind of cool. Hey, yeah. Let me just smooth that over, right? Uh, well, I mean, I've got a color like that. None of those are all that impressive. Go back to the big. Yeah, this is my favorite color combo using the 12 days of Christmas. Okay, I don't even remember which one's the big. Oh, that pink is pretty. Yeesh. Nah. None of those. Nope. Uh, no. Those are all too delicate. This one's pretty. I'm, eh, not this one, but the rest of those. Not this one, but these three. They're not bad. Nah. No, that this one's ugly. Uh, this one's pretty. Yeah, whatever. Eh, that one's nice. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, got it. Random. Anyway, I was checking my phone because then we went on that tangent. Um. Eh, sorry, let me... All right. We might play some League today. I'm not 100% sure. I'll show you at least where I'm at with... Um... Holy shit, the event. And why do I say event? Event. I say it weird. Why not just say event? Why do, why do I put so much event? I'm losing my freaking mind. Um, also, the um, charity. So you know how Riot sells shit and then it goes to their charity fund, whatever, and then everyone paid it? They have their three charities picked so you can use um, for NA. From um, all right. So with the pass, oh, I have stuff. Hey, yo, we're at 1840 tokens and I need this. I need it. Um, but we're almost at the end and then we'll get to the, re I wonder if there's going to be any more missions besides just the repeating because I finished. Um, I guess we get a random emote. Oh. Ooh. Okay, I'll take that one. We take those. Cute. Okay. Um, and then on TFT, I played a bunch. Um, we're on level 20. Well, getting to level 29. I played some earlier. Yeah. 
I don't have that many missions anymore. Just these Just these four. And then Yeah. Uh also I had to reach out to Riot because the very beginning it says that you're supposed to get four orbs at the beginning, right away. And I only got one. And I didn't realize that until later that that was the case for me. Uh, luckily, I was streaming at the time, and I have... So I reached out to Riot, and I was like, yo, hey. I told him, oh my god, I have to show you. <laughs> the stupidest thing. I so I submitted a ticket and I was like <laughs> um you can either give me the <laughs> this is what I said <laughs> I said hello I purchased the winter blast event pass and was supposed to receive four orbs immediately but I only received one I would like the missing orbs, or you can invite me to the League Partner Program, Winky Face. Hashtag shoot your shot 2022. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I had to. I was like, fucking YOLO. <laughs> uh, anyway, they answered my ticket. And they're like, yeah, we know this is a problem, and you should get your orbs in the next few days. But if not, let us know. And in regards to the League Partner Program, we don't handle that. We don't handle that in our tickets, and here's a link to get all the information. And I'm like, damn it. <laughs> One day you'll get there, you got a nice personality. Oh, thank you. I'm just, uh, so I'm genuinely worried. Um, So I got that nannying job, and... I'm kind of worried that with my schedule changing and not being able to stream as long as I would like to every day that it's going to our progress. But, you know, it is what it is. I need money. So, like, I need a job. There's no no question about that. There's no good. So it is what it is. But, yeah, we uh, we definitely... One of the requirements is to have an average of 50. We get like less than five. <laughs> uh. It'll happen. If it's meant to be, it'll happen. And then we'll celebrate and party. Excuse me. All right, well, should we jump into the new game? Get back over to Twitch so I can update on my info. Uh, uh, creator dashboard. Edit. All right, what's it called? Beacon Pines or something? All right, and done. All right, uh, I'm gonna throw off Spotify and move some shit around. Beacon Pines. This game, honestly, uh, the um, oh shit, I shouldn't have hit the. Ma'am, you were just working. Like the artwork for it looks. Also, I'm probably gonna have to adjust things as we go because, like I said, I didn't do any of that. Dear reader. Yes. Allow me to introduce <laughs> you to my book. Oh my god! Do I seriously have to hit enter every time they get done with a sentence? Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You guys hear it? Okay. Mum. What are these? Mum, 
What? All right, how do we get back? Back. Video? New game? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Okay, hold up. Because that... The music or whatever that is... Disgusting. The sound effects? Don't like that. One bit. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm being really picky here. All right, I'm going to turn things up just because I don't. Hello? I clicked out of the game and now it's. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. You may therefore have some misunderstandings about its nature. Okay. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. Mm. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. Ooh. Chapter one. Normal isn't what it used to be. I genuinely don't like that you have to hit space bar after every single sentence. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. Oh, it's, oh that's His so His name cute. is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. Okay, so I read like half of the synopsis for this this game and i think we play as luca van horn he's like a a deer thing van horn deer with horns i like it <gasps> i move in with my Ooh, look at this it's so cute oh the artwork is so adorable <gasps> Look at this. Okay, well, how do you do? Hey, Dad. Oh. Wow. Okay, hold up. This is hitting me a lot harder than I thought it would. Oh. Start middle school next year, I guess. Middle school. Horrible. Horrible middle school. Six years old when you died. Six years old. Well. Here on out, you'll have been gone longer than you were here. That's so sad. Feels like that should mean something. I always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. It's a pretty tree. It's very pretty. Me too. What is? Ooh. Hey, Luca. Ooh. Knew I'd find you here. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. Rolo? Okay. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Ooh. Ooh. Find up the treehouse. Rolo find finally here. noticed the tears welling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. God. And your mom always did this on your dad's. Wait, where's the mom? No, if you're going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone to. This game is already hugging. At my heartstring. Also, why is this not is this full screen? Showing up as full screen. Hold up. I gotta look. Ooh. Jesus God. <laughs> I was not prepared. Uh that's spooky. Okay, yeah, it's showing up full screen. Cool. How goes the day? Uh it's good. It's alright. We're uh, on the struggle bus. 
but we're cuddly and cozy and trying a new game. So I'm... How are you? Oh, she's not dead. It's just... Oh. Do you want me to read these out loud? Or should I just... Good, thanks for asking. That's great. Monday, and it's windy out here. It's really cloudy and clouded over, and I'm over like crazy. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it's gross. I think I'm ready to get out of here. These guys are adorable. Oh, oh, you can jump. Ooh. That way. I know I'm supposed to leave, but I kind of want to. So is that supposed to be the premise of the? Are we frolicking through the flowers. Is that an accomplishment or something? Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Okay. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. So I will be rewarded for exploring. Sneezing. Okay. Be. <laughs> ah, it's the cutest thing. Okay, let's leave. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I almost forgot the whole reason I was looking for you. Wondering if you'd ever get to that lol. Oh, the perfect way to start our summer. Lolo looked to the side suspiciously. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is they? They're the same person. They're thinking the exact same thing. I feel weird reading all this out loud, but I can't. I don't know. Mission control. Why do I look like I'm in my pajamas? Hello. That's really kind of annoying. The boop 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 boop. Every time there's a word that pops up. Oh. Okay, hold up. Audio. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. That's what we need to do. I don't do well with new people. Mood. Football, be boy. <laughs> it's like that stupid SpongeBob. That beep, boo boo, bop, boo bop. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> Oh, I had to turn that down because it was so annoying. Buttons. Give me the sign when you're done. I seriously read shit yourself. I need to go back to like first grade and learn how to read. <laughs> oh my god. Suit yourself is what it says. I won't be long. Oh, jeez. No cursing? Bruh. How long? Five minutes? I'm the one who set those up. I should probably know how long they are. Timer. Ten minutes? Uh. Okay, let me get one last one out before I start. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Alright, ten minutes. Starting now. No cussing. The game is too wholesome for cursing. It's a spooky game. A spooky game. Tell Gran before heading out with Rolo. Okay. All right. Well, I want to see. Okay. So those are obviously. Let me move my camera. Because I feel like I'm blocking the evidence or the stuff. 
feel like eh? Is that a good spot for it? We're gonna go with that for now. If we need to move. Alright. Let me alt tab back to the game. Alright, tell Graham before heading out with Rolo, and then we've got our tickle. Ooh, what's this? Look at us. We're so cool. Ooh. So cute. We're just chilling. Oh. Was it? Was it? Was it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And pose. Okay, we can't go back. Love the pink tree. Oh my goodness. Controls for the. Oh. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. So. Run around and explore everything random. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. I am willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. Okay, so... Lucan knew that if he ah! left without telling Ran, it would be trouble. I didn't mean to! I didn't mean to, I just wanted to see if there was stuff there by the door. Alright, let's go to the... Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. Yes. Just old people, yes. Well, then again, he's what, 12? How old could she be? What? 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 Oh! We got one! Okay, what is it? Is it. Which is supposed to, like, you can't click on them or anything. Lol, that slide off. <laughs> Grand had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. <gasps> yeah. Okay, we already did that. Ooh, that's one cool. of his father's old stethoscopes. That's the thing you listen to the heart with. Those are Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years, though. Sorry. Why does it look like there's stuff? It's just a shadow. I was thinking, it looks like there's something under the couch. I don't know if you can see. It looked like there's something under the couch. Just some dusty knickknacks. Okay, should we go upstairs or should we go through that back room? Uh, can you guys hear it okay by the way i think i've messed up. i almost cursed i almost did oh oh i was this close uh i think i messed with the sounds enough that it should sound okay but let me know yes okay cool all right upstairs or back room i'm feeling upstairs because i don't We'll be up there. Maybe it's our room. I'm going upstairs. Up. Yes. Okay, cool. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Except... Gran oh, had commandeered mind. the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Um. What? What does that mean? It's either dangerous things, nudie mags, or something that's going to further the it's not nudie bags. <laughs> Grand's bed was undisturbed. Do we share a room? No. Uh, Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. You do share a room. Cool. 
don't know about you guys, but I. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though Same. it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. No. Yes. <laughs> We're chill. Why do I have sunglasses on my desk? Why? I kind of like it. I kind of like this vibe. I think I'm on drugs. <laughs> Chill. What's up? What's up? Wait, 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 wait. We're twins. Twins. Hashtag winning. Except I'm not in a comfy ass chair on the beach. But again, he's not on the beach. I feel bad for anybody who's clicked on my stream for the first time and this is. Yo, what's up? <laughs> uh, I just really badly want to. Are we to do that in Streamlabs? Take a screenshot. Oh well, I'll just take a screenshot from my stream. I've got glasses. More glasses. These are glue like glasses. <laughs> um, if I want to look nerdy, I wear them. Chill out like a villain. Yes. Yes. Um, I've got all sorts of my desk. All right, I'm sorry. Wait, did I curse? We still have two minutes left. Oh, sorry, I just smacked. 212. We got 212 left. Alright, we're moving on. But he's got a fun sweater on. Grand's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Oh yeah, I wouldn't want to share my room either. Okay, well I was right. She wasn't upstairs. Wait, have you guys played this game before? Any of you? Jump on the bed. You know that nursery rhyme about jumping on the bed? About the monkeys? So, funny story, I actually broke my collarbone jumping on a bed. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we still have a minute left, and I almost said H E double hockey sticks. Oh, this is tough. Oh, all right, look in the fridge. An oh. array of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator. Of prepared meals? Either she's very on top of things and likes to meal prep, or. Well, but if nah. each labeled with the day of the week, meal prep, a pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Murder? Maybe this is a spooky game. Wow, spooky. Hey, we have a junk drawer too. Mood. Look at us. We're finding all sorts of things. All right, sink. That's where she washed the blood off of her hands. <laughs> the only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. It's haunted. Oh, that's my timer. I was like, what is that? We were successful, right? We didn't cuss. I. It's honestly such second nature to me that I don't even know if I am or am. Oh. If I am. Doesn't make sense. Bulk food items? Oh, there's like canning jars right here in this box. Uh, 
that it? Is that all that we can in this? All right, well, I guess let's go out back. Oh my, this is quite exciting. Oh, there she is. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Ah. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. Right. <laughs> you are about to encounter your first turning point. What does that mean? There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Is So it's like a... Not necessarily like a choose your adventure kind of thing, but like one of those where your choice is determined course of the game step forth dear reader step forth dear reader okay i want to a sturdy old wheelbarrow that's how she rolled the body out <laughs> now that you said murder that's all my brain can think of <laughs> we prepped the meals oh no 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 we're not going down that road of cannibalism no i retract that statement Young Luca would spend hours hiding in yep. the bushes, waiting for a chance to jump out and startle his mother. Aww. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. Wash the blood off in the sink. Use the wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. Wheel that thing. To cart around the body. Prep the body into days of the week meals. This is a dark story. And it's all covered by beautifully drawn, adorable characters. On par. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Cat. I have... Well, you can't really see them. I have a lot of plants over here. Hold up. Okay. Look at all my plants. Look at all my plants. I've got my Monstera. And then I've got... Whatever that is. And then... Whatever that is. And then that, and then that. Yep, I'm gonna make you guys motion sick here. That's wrong. Uh, those are like my only. Oh, and there's plants in the other box. We miss anything down here? Grandma. I just got a. You guys can't see it on screen. Xbox. An achievement. Hey, Ran, I'm gonna go hang with Rolo for the day. See you later. Why does she look like a... What are those things? The... A fortune teller. She looks like a fortune teller. Hey, we did our mission. Hold up now. Oh, she wants the deets, and we're not supposed to tell the deets. Nowhere special. The less Grand knew, the better for everyone involved. Well, how does she... Oh. We're just gonna go... Chill? Should we say chill? I think we should say chill. Because... We're gonna go chill for the day. I don't think hide. Hide sounds too... Suspicious. And ponder, what does that even mean? Alright, we're gonna do chill. Chilling like a villain. Yep. We were just gonna go chill for the day. Chill. Oh, we're literally helping write this one. The best lies are built on truth. Boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. Mood. Mood. Stick to what we're good at. Same. Well, this probably isn't a good spot for my camera either, because I'm covering up. I feel like I'm like trying to talk into my. Whatever. Well, make sure you are done chilling. Time for supper. We need. We definitely need that close-up camera shot. Easy. Did we make it. Impressive. 
you've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. I mean, it's not that Wait, I didn't look up like the age range for this game. Am I playing a children's game right now? <laughs> oh, can you imagine? <laughs> oh, they have that. That is the power of charms. C for teen. Oh, well, I'm a teen at heart. That's a goddamn lie. You guys know I'm a grandma. I was in somebody's stream yesterday and they were talking about age. And I'm like, I am older than all of you. All of you. Woof. This is the power of charm. Oh, I see. So the more you explore, the more charms you have, and then the more options you have for when it comes to write the story. So exploring is huge. A single word can change everything. Everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. Uh, what is that? A bee. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point, which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Oh, so can we do multiple... Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. Ooh! It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. That's cool. Okay, so we could redo it. Should we, what should we do? We should do hide. We just gonna go hide for the day. How does that change things? Hide? Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. <laughs> Not a bad lie, though. Weird way to put it. Aren't you a little old for that? We're 12. We're getting there. But we're not there yet. It's not like there is much else. Sounds like my hometown. <laughs> Literally all you did is my hometown. I'm from a town with 2,500 people. And literally the cool things to do were drive up and down like the main street in town. Or go park in the high school parking lot. Like at the end closer to the road. We had a huge parking lot. Not huge. But like for a small town, it was big. And people would just park at the end of the parking lot and just chill. Like, that's what you did. But I also wasn't popular, so there were probably other things. That you did. I don't know. But it was like two things. It's a small town. You don't do anything. You do shit. You drink, you have sex, you do drugs, you get in trouble. Like, small town shit. All's well that ends well. Okay, well, I want to go back to villain. How do we, let's go back and change it. Back. Yeah. I want to change it. We're just going to go chill for the day. I want to leave it We're a chill. We're just going to go chill for the day. The sound effect too loud. I feel like the best lies are built on truth. I don't know how to change. I think we're kind of SOL on that. Boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. Yep. Easy. A lot of time for supper. All right, next. What's the playthrough? Like, how long does it take? Oh, and Luca. Stay out of trouble. She knows. She knows. She's a freaking fortune teller. Like, she knows. She knows. Get into trouble with Rolo is our very next mission. That's great. That's great. 
Oh my god. You know, I wonder if like a more rectangle. Right. Like a more square. Be better. And then maybe up here is a good spot. I told you I was gonna keep messing with you. Alright. Wait, was that on top of the fridge when we went out there? Hopefully that's a better spot for the game. Alright. I think we already explored everything out here. He's so excited! But yeah, I wouldn't want to run either. Wait, what's this way? Can we go this way instead? The road leading to Beacon Pines was long and a sort of natural barrier for the impatient. So just because the road's too long and boring, we're not going to go down it. For a town that saw few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. I mean, it's all mossy. This is how you're supposed to play right? this town. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover a secret path. Chapter two. Ba -ba -ba, chapter two. Welcome to Beacon Pines. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Sharper Valentine. I wonder what. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered. So there's a monopoly on I'm discovering because of this person. Until the foul harvest and his sudden death. <laughs> In the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. Pause. Pause. This person and our dad both died six years ago? You don't think this is sus? I think this is sus. Also, I don't know anything about this storyline. I don't know anything about this game. So I'm probably reading into everything way too much. Like, I see where this is going. There's a conspiracy. Look at this. Okay, hold up. I just want to look at the characters. There's a dog. That's a dog. Sorry, y'all can see that. That dog. Wow. Is that a dog? I want to pet it. They're all so cute. Mayor Augustus Valentine was not busy. Flustered, Gus instinctively loosened his tie. Keep up. I got work. Concerned citizen where? Oh, 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 I see the person up on the line. I didn't even see that. This person does not look trustworthy. Does this look trustworthy to you? That's worthy? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Jeez. It's just like a, it's like a, like I was smiling for the sake of smiling, but my eyes are dead. Like. That's how I told my boss I was quitting my job. I was like. Uh, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> hey there, pal. William Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest Company. Good. Why? <laughs> I swear to God, I should have gotten drunk or something before I played this game. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of having the same thoughts anyway, but like, it would make more sense if I was 
not in the right mind rather than like this is me uh i'm not drunk i'm not high all i've had today is some chinese and pop but like why does this dude hold up i have to move my camera why why do we have elsa hair why is this like is that not elsa hair it's elsa hair i'm done thank you give me my camera back to the game we're on all sorts of crazy tangents today he had become a fixture around town over the past few years Good. After the failing of Valentine fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Murderer. Murderer. Yeah. 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 Murderer. He's capitalizing on trauma. It's like news. Ooh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> uh, you don't know, I used to work for TV. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of things say about that someday if you guys ever want to talk about it let me know because i don't work in news anymore and i will spill the tea i'll spill the tea excited for the big festival which don't do the ban hammer do it i'm too entertaining to be banned also i don't show my tits so like they're not gonna ban me or would they because i don't show my because I'm not making them enough money. I'm kind of uh, wishy-washy on that. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what they said last. I was your age. Nothing more exciting than a town festival. Everything's overpriced. Gosh dang right. <laughs> Uh, looking forward to letting off some steam myself, as opposed to murder. Suspect number one. Suspect number two, grandma. Wait, I have to write this down because at the end of the game, I need to know if I'm right. Hold up. What was this dude's name? Hearn? No. That was the mayor. Valentine. Valentine, something Valentine. <coughs> Wait. Suspect list. List. One. His name? Something Valentine? Blank Valentine. This fertilizer. Fertilizer dude. Suspect number two, Grandma. Suspect list. I know that was backwards and you can't read it, but it's written. Excellent. Yeah. Gotta get back to the proverbial grindstone. Harvest awaits. Immediately goes <laughs> and tells somebody that they're doing it wrong. Love it. All right, who should we go bother now? Should we bother the person who's up on the ladder? Oh, wrong way. Or should we be talking to as little, as few people as possible? Because then they're going to all know that we were there. We're leaving witnesses here. There, I was never here. You can't. I'm torn because I want to explore. But at the same time. That's his story. Mr. Van Horn, do you have a moment? Just Luca. First week, okay. He pulled a pen from the pocket of his sweater vest and began to frantically jot something down on a clipboard. I'm gonna be on a first name basis and you can call me Pete. 
Eat the red panda. Eat the panda. Got alliteration. Just documenting. Son of a bitch! Now they're gonna know I was here! Son of a bitch! <laughs> ah, there's evidence. There's witnesses. Not just about new fountains and phone booths. We're gonna change the world. Stop writing things down. Wants to hear my, we're gonna change this town. We need to get every detail right. <sighs> Changing the world is, makes sense. So what do you say? Oh, son of a bitch. Why did he say that out loud? Question two. What is something you love about Beacon Pines? These writing sounds are driving me nuts. He stopped scribbling and glanced up from the clipboard. Was it... Wait, what? and the, the artwork for this game is so freaking cute. I can't. Uh, wasn't that sketchy? I think that was sketchy. Got it. Come on, Andy. They're talking about the pig. Do it or we pound ya. My mom said. Ain't that right, Tish? Oop. Okay. Hey, okay, kiddos. Mr. Sinclair continued uh -uh. snoring and lifted one eyelid just enough to a tactic he often used to avoid undesirable conversation. Bro, I aspire to be that. I aspire to be this. Just like. Nope, oh, not worth it. <laughs> How's the napping today? This little fucker <laughs> wakes him up. Wakes him up just to ask him, hey, how's your nap going? Oh, this little fuck. I, mm, no. Mm, mm, mm. Used to have a perfectly nice view. Always pissed that the building is there. Yup. Well, why did you just move your chair a bit? Ugh. Oh my, why should I be the one that moves? Mood, but also, ugh. It's a shutdown. Oh, showdown. I don't know how to read. I ain't gonna be the one who blinks as he goes back. Great, great. All right, now that we've, uh, Wait, should we go this way, though? Poor Rolo. He's sitting there waiting for me. I'm just digging down. <laughs> Did I not just say? All right, so are people going to see me? Wait. Pretty little pond. Hey, Jetson. No bites. I can't remember the last time I reeled one in. They're dumping toxic waste into the pond. Murder, toxic waste, it was a cover up. I'm pretty sure I'm getting too deep. But hey, never about the catch. It's about the game. I come to think that's what my dad used to do here damn, damn it wrong button I was trying to be cool and do it without looking 
Uh, that reminds me. You ever want his chair back? Taken to standing room. Yeah, is that why it's got some like awesome shit on it? Keeps me from falling asleep at the real. Ha! <laughs> you don't mind. I think you can stay. That's kind of cute. An empty chair makes for a great listener. Whenever Luca saw his dad's chair by the pond, right. it reminded him of the days they'd pack up a couple of sandwiches and fish until sundown. Oh, I am supposed to move. Flashback. Go pick out your bait for the tackle box, buckaroo. I bet. Luca opened the tackle box and picked the perfect bait. Uh. Pickle or junk? Yeah. Wait, what? What are we supposed to use for bait here? Because neither of these are good options. I guess we go with junk? But then we're polluting. But pickling doesn't make any sense unless we're just gonna jump in to junk. All right. Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. What fish could resist a nice shoestring? Then again, I am six at the time of this flashback. Oh, what? Pretty good cast now. Fish love random stuff. How do we cast it? Oh, that's how. You'll have to reel it in a bit faster. Oh, where you catch. All right, so do we have to, yep, gotta re. We actually have to catch something. Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. What fish could resist a nice shoestring? All right, let's try this. Throw it. Oh my god, I have to spam. Oh no, we can just hold it. <laughs> oh, the line broke. Ugh. So what, do we have to go fast and slow and... Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. What fish could resist a nice shoe? Yes, 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 thank you. Yes. All right. All right. Maybe this will be able to do it. Can't talk. Can't talk. Whoa, Jesus! Fuck! Why did that scare me? <laughs> What? Shoes, boo! <laughs> oh my god. Hope the other boot at least has a sock to keep it company. Did you just get scared by a boot? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We'll go pick out your bait. Wait, we have to. Okay, so we figured out how to fish. Luca tied a shoestring. What fish could resist a nice. So, are we just gonna, what are we gonna catch now? Jesus. Oh, okay, so apparently we were supposed to use tickle that time. And then am I gonna just uh, tickle attack my dad? I did not get gently baited a feather onto the hook. Oh, not literally tickling. Good for skimming the surface. Jesus. Oh, it's a dog. Uh, the ducky. Well, I'll be switched. 
it's your old rubber ducky. How did my old rubber ducky end up in the pond? You're just a little drooling ball of fur. Fur. Ah, that's game over. Cried for days. How did we? Okay, so now what? No, okay, let's look at that. What? Okay, let's look at that. Okay. Looks like we can use some new bait. What do you say we head out and find some more? You say we head out and find some more? Okay, let's do it. I thought I was supposed to be going with Rolo. Why am I here? Oh. Eh? The tree house. Look how cute. The boys had a good thing going. As long as they kept old Jeff happy. It's Jeff. And why do they spell it like that? They had an endless source of precious materials to add to the treehouse. Alright, let's see. Oh, we can't even walk. Alright, we go up. Ooh. After Luca's father had passed, Rolo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rolo's way of keeping him occupied. Stop chilling. On certain nights, when the clouds were just right, the boys could tune into strange patterns of static. Rollo thinks it's aliens. <laughs> he always thinks it's aliens. Lol. Oh, that's funny. Luca's winter coat decommissioned for the summer. With the cold holding out longer than usual, he reconsidered its usefulness. Wait, there's a room back here? Oh no, that's an exit. Wait, so where's the trap door go to? Okay, I guess there's two. All right, sorry. Okay, what's this top secret plan to start our summer? Oh, the abandoned warehouse plan. My place. Why do I make it sound the old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't. You should think that. Get this. Last night it was glowing. Kinda. Since the foul. Yeah, that's foul. Yeah. I can't read. Busted old. I mean, we could do some research at the library. You want to actually. Bro, you're the one who just said that you saw some people there. Or you think people are there. And then you're saying, like, wait, you actually want to go check it out? Like, what did you expect was going to happen? <sighs> Remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? Why is accidentally in italics? Is it on purpose? You jumped in and said it was your fault before my Okay, new theory. He's a budding sociopath, right? Remember the three tells of a sociopath or a what is it as of a serial killer? It's arson, killing animals. And what was the last one? We already got arson. Hello? All the makings to become a serial killer. And what is that on his shirt? And what is, what is that? What is, suspect number three. Actually, he goes above grandma. <clears throat> Rolo. Grandma moves to number three. London fucked up, eh, Aaron? I'm taking this shit too seriously. Oh, I forgot to turn on my lights. Flash. 
Nah, we like the first classroom. No. Okay. Before my path throttle. But genuinely, look at Rolo's, like, uh, overalls on the front part and then on his shoulder right here. Tell me. You tell me. This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I've got your back. Thanks, Rolo. Now that I think about it, poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. Wait, where do you go? Oh, I can walk in the water? Seriously, where'd he go? Did he go back this way? Mission control. Authorized personnel only. Alright, yeah. Oh, there he is. We get to go this way now. Just catching my breath a bit. Boo. Come on, I'll catch up. Peace. Wow. All right, who should we talk to first, the sketchy-looking alligator lady? This hatch could often be found near the fountain. She's an alligator and likes water? Too absorbed in a book to be distracted. To wander down the wooden path, unaware of the danger. Is that shadowing? Foreshadowing! Oh! This is getting good. Talk to her. Hey, Mrs. Nelson. Any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Ooh. Any strange happening? Wow. Oh. Dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. Talk to this dude. What is this place called? The Heacon Beacon? Beacon Beacon. What does that say? Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record. Holden Wilder. The Beacon Beacon. The Beacon Beacon. Okay. I, yeah. What's the day have in store for you? What didn't you like to know? I don't know if you heard any news about... Oh, remember? News? Beacon Beacon knows the news that needs knowing. Snoring. The beacon beacon knows the news that needs knowing. Knows the news that needs knowing. It's me. <laughs> any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? Oh. Yeah, they can't tell you anything because they're going to break the story of my I'll break it. Rolo thought he saw some lights there last night. Rolo ought to be careful poking around that part of town. Right. The winds of change are blowing. Change. Stories about change. Change. Fair change. Fair change. Next. We'll talk to these. Uh. Hey, look. Trustworthy. Hey, Roxy. Oh, right. Rendezvous with Roxy. This is really weird because the last book that I read, the main chick was Roxy. This is an important turning point. Ooh. The first time where your charms will change the course of fate. Oh, okay. And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Great. Have no fear. We can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Well, now I'm just rambling. Did I miss some? Where were we? Have you seen my blockhead brother today? Oh, no wonder she's the same kind of animal. He skipped out for her. Oh, well, not really, no. I have. Can't say or won't say. Would I lie to you? Yes. Look up. <laughs> Roxy might be lurking around here. 
This is one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. <laughs> Rolo's not the best at subtlety, is he? You're not scared, are you? She's harmless. And a chump. And now he realizes it. Get into trouble with Rolo. We did the mission. So over here lurking. Usefully. U uselessly. Uselessly. That's all. Nice weather we're having. Oh, notice it snuck up. Hungry. Oh, it's your morning. Oh, there's been left on the tree. Ew, I'm sick and tired of digging up carrots. Ugh. Almost every carrot I dig up is rotten. The rest look like they were hit with Hank Comics or Shrinko Red. Oh, I do mind. Aren't yourself. Home and harvest those carrots, or I haul you home. So, run! Mora froze as Roxy took a step toward him, cracking her knuckles. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In the in the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Rocky was to be a little chill. That's our only option. Up. Is that our only option? Oh. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Mm. Our sweet talk. She don't care. Leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. Great novel rules. Way of becoming an icon. And Paul always says tomorrow's work is best left. Yesterday. I expect a full report about the Valentine place. Great, now we have to go alone. This does not sound like a good idea. Investigate the Valentine warehouse alone. Score. They're both asleep. Both of my dogs are. Woke them both up. What are you up to? Lovely day. Oop. Oh, is there a little crash crash happening there? All right, which way should we go? Go up here. Curious what to do. Oh, more people. Hyper. How do we know everybody? Nerd. Early bird. It's the proper education required for a successful and fulfilling career later in life. Third. Popular kids. Zariel. We saw this lazy butt to help out in the cafe. Why? It's not my job. never do what you don't love then you'll never wait what what did they just say i don't think that's what the saying is wait can we go inside the shop nope we gotta find more charms go this way history Hey, Griffin. Oh, I saw something about this in the preview. It's still pretty cold out, and I'm in the business of selling cold. Soon. Mr. Tolliver's not at his grocery stand. Oh. Looking for the festival. This says no touching, but you can. Smack. Oh, I didn't realize it. Mac. Boom, that's gonna help us. We got one. 
Any others? Anything else back here we can get into trouble with? Not the table. Talk to Lollipop again. Lollipop kid. Lollipop kid. Isn't that what they sing in the art? It's a fact checking for the town history exhibit. When the town was founded, there were only seven citizens, and they all worked for a mining company. There was only one dirt road leading to town, and there still is. One road leading. There's a lot of story in this uh, game. Like a lot. It might be a little bit too Peak of this way. Sharper Valentine found her peak in pines. So why is that hidden instead of like in the middle of town square? Never underestimate what a great man can do. Give a bit much, if you ask me. Indulgent. You have knowledge. Hey, so. Jeff's hardware closed down about a year ago. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. Have we met Jeff? I don't remember. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. Library. Library hasn't opened yet. Bug store. Hold up a tick. Nun Creek. Just on my way to just like the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stock the shelves fast enough. Turns out. Great, but I'm actually Juniper is my grandma's name. Just have to swing by with more of her lovely Be crushing. Yep, crushing. A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. Oh. The fine woman that Juniper. A real fun. <laughs> Gotta go. Gross. To be fair, though, I mean, she's probably not that old. The phone booth was brand new. Part of Perennial Harvest's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. It didn't see much use. I was gonna say what? Like... Yeah. Wait, there was a part of that last... Luca knew that if he gave up now, he'd never hear the end of it from Rollo. I don't want to give up. I just forgot to go to a spot. Son of a bitch. All right, who's this? One? Oh, hey, Luca. How's the bug hunt? Great. Bugs have been shy this week. This is quite the. Oh God, my ass. Um. Social butterfly. Bugs aren't that different. Well, some alone. If you're going into Weepwood. Just be careful where you step. No bug crunching. After the foul harvest destroyed their wealth and reputation, the Valentines shuttered off their estate from the rest of town. Their estate. Well, problems. The Valentine Mansion loomed over every other building in town, both figuratively and literally. Yeah. Everybody else is modest and at the back here then why would they even uh 
I? Cute. No. Played in bursts. I the think. path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. Back now. Oh, shit. I like my vent. Yeah, but there's a big. The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. I realize you have Luke often here. asked himself what Rolla would um, do, so that he could rule out that option. Oh. Not touching that thing. Oh, good thing there's a hole in the fence. As sparks flew oh. from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. Okay, so we just gotta pick up random shit. Break it. Right? That's the... That's what we're learning here, is that we just need to break the fence. Property of Valentine Fertilizer Company. I just got another achievement. Hit the watermelon 20 times. Okay, did I not say anything about... I said something about them pouring biohazardous waste into the pond. Proof. Here's my proof. Genius. 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 Okay. Oh, excuse me. Like, this is how he came in. Lucan knew that if he gave up now. Yeah, I'm not. All right, can we come in now? One more to go. Apparently it was that simple. One. And... Hey! The fence's buzzing gave way to silence. It was that easy to break a... <laughs> Every kid in town knew the old uh. Valentine Fertilizer building. Long abandoned, uh. the warehouse once served as the oh industrial God, heart me. of Beacon Pines. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Hmm. Well, it wasn't exaggerating for once. There was only one way to find out. That was awful. That really was not here. You have no problem poking around in there. Water. Church. The water looked almost diseased. It flowed slowly into the woods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pollution. We're too good for our own. The hose emitted a subtle sound. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. Yeah. Ah. All right, did we go in? Locked. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. Zipper. The sound of footsteps grew louder. Kind of like knocking. Oh. Hmm. Oh, this isn't good. Shit. Ah! Ah! Daniel, you said this game was too precious for cussing. It's in game! Body bag? Wait, where? Shit. <laughs> uh, shit just got interesting. The heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Did I miss a body bag? He looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. 
Toxic. The story is about to change. This is a story oh. about change. I don't know how to fucking it was read. Far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? I probably should have warned you about this. There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy. But don't let that discourage you. Did I just get murdered? We will find the ending that this story deserves. I just know it. From here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Now, let's try something different. I just got murdered. This is a story about change. Okay, great. Well, we don't have another option. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, the... Yeah. I probably should okay. have warned. There are many paths that are most will end in tragedy. We will find from here on out okay. a charm Great. now. Let's try. Okay, so we should do... Okay. Was to be a little shit. In the past, yes. he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. Smack! <laughs> he just smacked her. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, investigate the Valentine warehouse with Rolo. Can I talk to this guy and apologize? Oh my god, this is like ex your exact game. Do you think so? Solomon Valentine. Current ward of and future successor to the Valentine Fortune mm. huffed as he brushed off his pants. A town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if it's worth taking anything here seriously. Whatever. No matter. How are you doing? He gives me like Slytherin vibes. With all that business about your mother and whatnot. As if he actually cares. That is truly a shame. Oh! Shame. Grandmother has taken residence to keep house. Yeah. How is that going? I don't know. They mostly stay out of each other's way. Excuse me. Make it sound like she's rarely at home. Oh, oh. Red flag! Red flag! She just has a lot to do. He's giving me red flags. Red flags. He's gauging out how often he has somebody at the house with him. Or at the house in general. Still settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Indeed. Well, count your blessings. Better to have a caretaker who is rarely around in lieu of one who tries to compensate by smothering you with Dad? Trust me when I say it's best to rely on yourself. Then they has a way of creating more problems than they solve. Isn't that the goddamn truth? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Solomon trifled a gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Heiress. Not wander off like that. Why does she, like, much too busy to be looking all over for you? Apologies. Heiress, do they really call each other that? Just taking a stroll through town. Strolls are for commoners. For commoners. Wait, what just happened? Hold up. Sorry, my family group chat. What is happening? Who was arrested? All right, well, these people are pieces of shit. You're a Valentine now. 
Oh, so he's stuck. The future of this town lies on its ability to remember our families. Great powers. Wow, okay. Well, they're not full of themselves at all, are they? It All right, we already talked to this dude. Oh. Again? Lol. <laughs> He's like, no. All right. I win. Lol. <laughs> Like anything ever changes around here. Pace yourself better there. Lol, I'm not sure why I would take advice from second place. Has that sign always been there? Wait, what? Caution, electrified fence. Ew, creepy. How are we gonna get around an electric fence? Don't worry, I've got, got this. <laughs> Always says you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. God, that's such an archer thing. Did my part to establish that touching the fence is bad. There. Okay, so let's do the same thing we did. Safe distance. Pick up, throw. Pick up, throw. Whoa, you're a genius. Pick up. He got more stains. I still only see the three. There's one like on his stomach, and then one like right here, and then one over here. Three. I wish I could point him out, but there's no mouse in this. I don't see more stains. Never fail to impress. As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view. Rollo began to bounce excitedly. Because he knew. Bounce. Check it out. Aren't exaggerating. Never any doubt. Definitely needs investigating. Good thing two ace detectives are on the case. This is bizarre. Great, that's a wonderful sign. Grumble. Did you feel that? You're telling me you didn't feel that? Don't play in that. Don't play in that. Do not play in that. Don't play in it. Try harder. Oh well. Dumpster is new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. I think I smell some treasure. I don't want to know what you see. I don't want to know. Sure that this isn't hazardous waste? Help me get in. I've been saying it this whole time. It would be my honor to throw you in the trash. I'm pretty sure my friends would say that. <laughs> Happy sometimes. Come on, Lady Luck. Let's see. There's a squishy bag of squish. That's helpful. Probably organs. Good inch of stagnant sludge. Ew. Hold the bone. Hold two bones. Walkie talkies. Nice. Round command to Hank Atomic. Five by five, what is that? How are your vital readouts, man? What's stuffy in here? Ah. Sorry, my hands are covered in squish. Ew.
petrified under the weight of the bag. Of the body? You know what separates run of the mill detectives from ace detectives? These detectives dig deeper for clues. They're going to open up the bag. At the large sack which burdened them. It's a body. He snapped off a tag from just within a small zipper opening in the bag. Lowell held the badge up to a faint shaft of light within the dumpster. Shaft? You still say shaft. Dr. Prescott, engineer. The named. Who would throw away a bag? Slimy old name tags. You poor thing. I'm not panicking. <laughs> slime covered hand would be in here. Ooh, it's a zombie. He just threw the hand out. What the fuck? <laughs> Clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? Flaming chicken coop, Luca. Ugh. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go count to 100, why would they want to count to 100 if the coast is clear and they know that? If you hear me yell, run. Don't hear me yell, run. I'll ask, got it. I found an eventful way to start our summer. Yeah, uh, murder. Uh -oh. Lucas sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rollo's footsteps as he ran. One. Two, oh, three. Count to a hundred. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rollo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Why is he actually waiting and counting to a hundred? Screw it, that's long enough. Yeah, okay, thank you. Luca carefully lifted the lid. And peered out. I'm gonna get caught and killed. Nothing. No sign of Rollo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass. Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Because he didn't make it. Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter 3. Oh, we did make it. Finding a friend. The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. Love that. Finished jarring a mess of jam last night. That'll need to get delivered into town today. What did you and Rolo get up to yesterday? Why? 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 Do people never tell other people when shit has gone down? Why? Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Hello. What is this? Trip to us been trying forever. Ooh. Ew. Sketchy. Sure, there isn't anything you want to tell me about yesterday? Yes. People. Just <gasps> Jump people. Not really. Grand's brow furrowed. She knows because she's a fortune teller. 
A fortune teller! Look at her! Look at how she's dressed! Fortune teller. She let out a long sigh. Her voice was quiet and even. She has to go take care of something. Suspicious! Suspicious! You're gonna stay in this house for the day. Sure! Under no circumstance are you to leave. I'm not back by dinner. There's stew in the ice box. Mm. Twelve. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah. Well, that's true. All right. Should we look in the fridge for stuff? What am I supposed to do? Just turn on the sink again and go through the same things? What am I supposed to do? Shit has not been used to its... Faint electronic sound floated in. Is that Morse code? Where did it say it was coming from? Oh, I'm so bad at. Chillin. That it was coming from. Radio. Hello. Why do I need to be able to jump? Pause it. Okay, so. Oh, it's my radio. Hello. What? what? Why was there that dramatic increase in volume for no reason? Luca glanced at the now silent walkie talkie. He wasn't sure what to think. What was the point of that? Who that? knock at our front door. I'm about to get kidnapped. I'm about to get kidnapped. Bet. Oh, fuck. Rolo's missing now, isn't he? Son of a bitch. I haven't seen him since yesterday. A pit formed in Luca's stomach. He's dead. We would. If he's if he's alive, I'm gonna kill that little creep. Who says that? Who says if he's alive, I'm gonna kill him? Luca's mouth felt dry. Messing around. Uh. Luca could feel his heart beating in his throat. Check the library for Rolo, but we're supposed to stay home. This is my best friend. Sorry, Grandma. I mean, he's not going to be the. Hold the pickle. 
pond. Hey, Bert, have you seen Rolo? Nope. Mostly been talking to Cliff. We're just chilling again. Chilling on this pool. Sightseeing. Being cool. The artwork in this pool. More shit got set up in front of Mr. Piggy Pig. I'm not talking to you again. We really need to get to work. Roxy said she'll be here, then she'll be here. The dog's a trick. They're both in here. Thank you for that redemption for the doggies. Lay down. All right, resume. Waiting for Roxy. There, okay. Parents don't listen. Isn't Earl always getting in trouble? He feels different this time. need to check where the adults aren't. I guess it's up to us to check Weepwood. That's why I'm making posters. Great. Yes. I'll check Wood we'll back later to pick up that is map. That's helpful. Wait, are we supposed to play as Roxy now? So it's just a cutscene, right? Okay, we didn't get to go back this way last time. Last chance diner. Okay, yeah, we didn't go back this way. Can't go that way. Up at Dawn Newsstand. Why do you need a newsstand when there's only one paper? Oh, it's a bat. Come home last night. Connected to what? I was checking in on reports about increased activity around town. Windowless trucks, mechanical noises, lights, typical shady stuff. I have a few leads. The Valentine family is always suspicious. Oh, oh. perennial harvest certainly has the resources. Place to start looking is where the trail went cold. Where did you see him last? Check out Weepwood when my shift ends. Best work at night. He's a bat. But she's a bat. Spratelli is getting ready for the festival. Are all these people who are usually supposed to be here missing? Alright, where was the library you're new shadow of a family clinging onto a town clinging past oh we found another charm you go in and check it getting awfully sidetracked sharper valentine is celebration of excellence we all know beacon pines is a great town what you may not know is great towns grow from mighty roots. And that is why you cannot tell the story of Beacon Pines without telling the story of one Sharper Valentine. Young Sharper's keen intellect and strong moral fiber led to a grand vision. A vision of a community dedicated to a better tomorrow. 
in his own words, a better tomorrow is within our grasp, but it requires a singular mind to harness it. Lucky for us, he decided to grow that vision here in Beacon Pie. And how does one grow a better tomorrow? With fertilizer, of course. Uh. Valentine's Fertilizer Company became the lifeblood of a town yearning for purpose. But then tragedy struck, a scientific experiment gone wrong. An accident which took Sharper away from us far too soon. To this day, we struggle to pick up the pieces. But one foul harvest isn't enough to stop the people of Beacon Pines. The spirit of Sharper Valentine lives on. It lives in the hearts of everyone with a dream for a better tomorrow. The way that that's placed, it looks Together, like he's... Together, we will follow his example and grow a bountiful future. Paid for by the Valentine family and the Valentine Fertilizer Capital Revenge Fund. They were doing experiments, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, give this lizard. Sure, show up safe and sound. When he does, tell them there's a strawberry chocolate double scoop waiting. On the house. Where was the library? Talked all these. Eyes went wide in disbelief. You mean vanished. I think she's reading our book. Is this about a missing child? I must stress that the situation is control. It seems so terrible. Help. Young Mr. Cotter will turn up safe and sound, I am certain. Is that his last name, Rolo? Just my sister supplied you with a suitable Telling our daughter Beth. Wait. we go up top and talk to the rest of the teenagers? Church! Hi, Luca. What's up? Hello, around recently. Have you? He doesn't touch. Not since they made a rule that he can only order decaf. <laughs> uh. Weird that I only need one hand to play. Really doing the library I'm bad at these games Logan Pete important thing is we'd love to hear your thoughts oh God. Toby looked up from the clipboard excitedly Let us know when you're free to answer some questions. Where's the library? It wasn't down, was it? Yeah, it was over here. Yeah. New additions. There were rarely any actual new additions. Simply, a variety of existing content rotated into the front display each week. Gotta do what you gotta do. Want to meet me, you know where you know. Wait, should the we? We should go check shelf the shelf. Was a dusty array of thick science books. Only one binding was clean enough to read: cellular biology and the chemistry of mitosis. Mitosis. Mycological phosphorescence. What do those words mean? 
Mycological phosphorescence? Google. Google. Mycological phos phosphorescence. Mycological phosphorescence. Oh, it's a bioluminescent fungus. Bioluminescent. That's no way that's what that means. All of these words have bioluminescence highlighted. Not what we type. Okay, what is mycological? Mycology is a field of study, a branch of biology concerned with the study of fungi, including their genetic and biochemical properties. Biochemical properties, their taxonomy, and their use to humans, including as a source of for tinder, traditional medicine, food, and entheogens, as well as their dangers, such as toxicity or infection. Okay, what does what does phosphorescence mean? Light emitted by substance. Okay, so it's bioluminescent fungi. That, that is weird. Bug. More like myo complete loss of interest. I think we googled that. Otherwise, the entire we miss top thing. level of the library was devoted to comics, most of which were Hank Atomic and the myriad of lesser revered spin-offs. We're learning things. Talk to you in a second. I'm oh, the cobs I've eaten. A salad centric travel guide for the mildly adventurous. Salad centric travel. Yeah, yucky. Sally Seashore's simple succulent sundries. Luca brushed off a smudge of dust. Or maybe it was flour. 30 recipes so easy you'll doubt it's even edible. Oh, <gasps> we found a charm! Let's go. A peek behind the curtain. The methods and ruminations of Patrick C. Montesquieu. Who? One of the greatest acting minds of our time. Thank you. By Patrick C. Montesquieu. Uh, oof. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Cotto volunteered at the library during the summers. He wasn't very social, so he'd dedicate each summer to becoming Nerd. an expert in a single subject, making him a reliable source of very particular knowledge. If you were to ask Kato something he didn't know, he'd escape into the dusty old bookshelves and return with just the right thing. Then... Kato was lost in his reading. Luca crooked his neck to see the title. Introduction to Melatology. What the fuck is Melatology? God damn it. Google. Melitology. Branch of entomology concerning the scientific study of bees. Hey. I'm learning all sorts of things I'm not going to remember. I'm learning things. <laughs> Why does this person have an oo woo voice? He gestured to the shelves. Really running out of books I haven't read yet. Now it's on to the wonderful world of bees. Turns out bees are pretty cool. Did you know that around 70% of bee species actually live in underground tunnels? Or that if there are two queens in a hive, they'll fight to the death. To the death! 
Another charm! You can roll around, have you? Yesterday. See him? You'll be the first to know. This game. Alright, now where do we go? Oh look, somebody who has bubbles. What sort of monster puts candy behind a locked door? Nun Creed works weird hours. And do I work? Oh. Luca Van Horn. Not Beck's by choice. Often. Oh, Beck, is that's who they were talking about in the... Okay. Giving her little time to establish any real connections. She would tell you she prefers it that way. I'm sensing a friendship. Seeing Miss... Luca shifted his feet uncomfortably. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Beck pulled a coin from her pocket. Doink. The lucky coin, isn't it? Oh. Lol, the accomplishment that I just got was nerd. Perused all library shelves. <laughs> Is that why you said that? Oh, I just got that achievement. Hi, magic. No, you just get him first. Because... Rolo is my unlucky. Settles that a person should never be without their unlucky penny. Let's go find him. New friend, I told you. Also, I got a video you would like. What's it about? What's it about? Uh, which way should we go? Perch, let's ask this person. Maybe see Rolo. Now the beat. Not a beatologist. I out from with you. Jesus, hell's bells. That was loud. After the foul harvest destroyed their wealth and reputation, the but Valentines I saw it. shuttered off their estate from the rest of town. Are the sound alerts really loud compared to everything, or are they? The Valentine Mansion loomed All over right. every other building, both figuratively. I already saw it. Can we go in here now? I think it was a good level? Okay, cool. It sounds really loud in my head. Alright, we should go check. Once we go back here, we should go check the warehouse. Uh-oh. Dang, they boarded up the way in. Well, if the electric fence is broken, then just find another way in. Oh, hmm. well, look. Bean stuff. Or to her. Luca felt a chill as he approached Beck. Her eyes were locked on the strange green light. The nearby grass was coated in a fine layer of frost. Like, this sort of thing normal around here? Because puddles of glowing ooze are definitely not what I expected. No idea what this stuff is. Science! Science, bitch! <laughs> Luca watched uh. as Beck dipped a broken tree branch into the goo. Beck's eyes widened as flowers grew from the dead wood. Um, do you want zombies? Because this is how you get zombies. First small buds, which quickly bloomed into vibrant petals. As quickly as they had grown, the flowers began to shrivel and turn gray. Zombies. Beck dropped Zombies. the stick with a grunt of disgust. The science tells us this gunk is weird as hell. It's dangerous. Hey, what are they doing here? Hey, Tish. Look what the cat dragged in. Holy. I don't have time for this right now, Iggy. Like that hurts? Tish just... 
healing. She looks fine to me. <laughs> yep. Forgive you just this once on account of you being new around here. Why would you want to hang out with this dud? Right? Why do you have to be so itchy? They even told you that his parents skipped out on him. They got tired of having such a pathetic kid and left him. Oh, look who's grown a backbone now that a girl's around. Iggy took a step towards Luca. We're about to fuck shit up. Like a puddle. <laughs> Beck could see tears welling in Luca's eyes. His fists clenched. Some things about Beacon Pines were very different from the city, but a bully from a hayseed town is really no different from a city bully. Beck took a deep breath and mm. thought. Oh. Time to bust out the... Strange. Well, time to bust out the strange. <laughs> All right, Luca, looks like you need a little mud bath. Oh, don't put him in that. We're about to pound your friend. Beck stared in silence, <laughs> the only sign of life being the twitch of an eye. Weird when people don't. Stop being a weirdo. Some kind of wackadoo. Makes sense, wackadoos travel in packs. At the sight of Iggy taunting Beck, something in Luca snapped. Iggy's smirk shifted to a look of shock as Luca launched himself into his stomach. Attack! Oh, Iggy's she... clothes were drenched in the glowing ooze. Iggy's voice began to slur as he struggled to get up. Murder! Murder! Well, that wasn't good. The person at the warehouse. This strange ooze and what it did to Iggy. Was Rolo caught up in all of this? Oh, uh, yeah. He's suspect number two. How have we been playing this game for two hours? Echo, can you get off the go? Certainly don't like walking around the Alright. We should go check the Oh Elsa's here to crack down on us. What in the dickens are you up to in this part of town? What about the you must have passed the bullies on your way in? You haven't heard the good news. Rollo shut up safe and sound a bit ago. I don't think so. It's got a little turned around in the woods. They can be disoriented. You no. Know? You should scurry along before you get lost yourselves. It's a threat. Come on, Beck. Well, that reminds me. Look, your grandmother was looking for you. Rip. You should march straight home. Ooh, they're gonna walk her home. She's about to go missing now. Beck glanced toward Luca. Mm. Sketchy shit. Rolo was safe. When you get a chance, look at Discord. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Discord. Discord. Oh, you got your sweater! Oh my god. Now 
was fast. Twins! Oh my god, I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> a wave of relief washed over Luca, which was quickly replaced by a sense of dread. Gran is going to kill me. Just for a good if reason. He, hurried, he might just make it home before sundown. If he Chapter 4. Our harvest awaits. Why did she say it like that? Luca took a deep breath and gingerly opened the door, steeling himself for Gran's wrath. And she's missing. There's no goodness. I'm so bad at steering. Pretty sure that's just us. Anything new? Shift. Can we shift and run? Ran. Back. Back. Missing now to first. Upstairs. Like yelling around the house. She's not here, dude. Not here. Luca was. The house was empty. Okay, first instinct is to take a nap. Luca was sitting by the pond, listening to small waves lap against a rock. His father sat in a folding chair in front of him. Without turning, he spoke. Why don't you grab me some nice bait? Sure thing, Dad. Luca hopped over to the tackle box and popped open the lid. Inside was a rolling, buzzing mass. We're fishing with bees? Yes. Luca's father gave a warm chuckle. Well... You catch more fish with bees than honey. Pick us out a good one. Luca closed his eyes and plucked out a bee. He could feel its wings struggle between his finger and thumb. Holding it at arm's length, he hurried over. His father deftly baited the hook and examined his work. Interesting choice. With a practiced flick of the wrist, the line buzzed in a graceful arc. The water accepted it without a splash or ripple. The wrong choice. But I respect it. The pond began to freeze over. Sometimes we gotta make the wrong choice before we can make it right. Pallid ice propagated across the still surface with an alarming speed. Luca scrambled back as the ground beneath him turned cold. Dad, I don't understand. Sorry, kiddo. Understanding isn't always part of the deal. The relentless ice shot through the fishing line toward his father. Dad, look out! His father casually wound the reel. None of it's your fault, you know. Never was. Dad, we have to go. Luca grabbed his father's shoulders, trying to pull him away. Please, you have to run. The ice crackled as it spread across his father's hand. That's the thing about fishing, Luca. His chest began to crystallize. You toss your hook in, and you never know what you're gonna pull out. A shock of searing cold ran up Luca's arms. He gave one last desperate tug. The chair tipped backwards in a single frozen mass. Luca tried to stop the momentum, but it was too late. He watched the icy form of his father slam into the hard ground, shattering into a thousand pieces that crowded around his feet. Dad, I don't understand. What does all this mean? The gentle rustle of leaves was the only reply. What the f The walkie-talkie struggled to focus on the walkie-talkie. Faintly, he could hear Rollo amongst the noise. Not Rollo. Let's 
Listen, I don't know how long this will work down here. Lolo's voice was coming through more clearly now, but some words were still just static. It's not static, it's bees! Someone grabbed me yesterday. It was... Took me to some sort of... Some underground. You seem more interested in blah 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 for now. The signal went silent. Luca held still, waiting for a response, his pounding heartbeat marking the passage of time. Lolo's voice began to fade. Go to mission control. With that, something about the city house died for good. Once we use the antenna in the treehouse to get a better signal. Luca grabbed the walkie-talkie and sprinted to the treehouse. Sprinted. Took the walkie-talkie to the radio in the treehouse. All right, let's go. Luca heard a group of footsteps approaching. Hide. He dashed behind the bushes to avoid being spotted. Who is it? It's Grandma. Oh. We all understand our roles. Count on me. She's from the diner. I don't know about him. This wasn't the original Mr. Tolliver plan. paused, shifting his eyes to one side. Well, in danger now. Refuse. Mr. Tolliver took one long, quiet breath. Wish we could have made that deal with her. Her Harris Valentine. Her resources would have still come in handy. No time to contact her after your call this morning. Call for the greater good. Operation Spark Plug has a new objective. The three shared a determined look. Meeting with Mr. Tully and Mr. Tully later. Oh, Jesus, God. Left, I tailed him here. Nice and determined. Phone call this morning rushed out the door. I can't pay right now. I can't pay. Actual job. Hey. Busy. 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 Sorry. Might be in the middle of the scoop of a lifetime. Aren't you coming? I got here. Why'd she just like sink back into the bushes? <laughs> what? I think it's funny that. I did it. I changed the sign. Odd choice for a prank. Situations such as the two boys shared a mischievous grin. Wait for everyone. To what sign? Old Pickler's Pond. Mission. Can 
Daniel. That sounds exactly like it, though. Got it. Something's a spooky. Who's there? I could only see a cloaked shape behind the rocket. Uh. Is it the? Uh, is it Beth? He strained to hear as a muffled voice be. Weapons? How could you hurt something that's already dead? Fear gripped Luca's throat. I don't even recognize Luca myself. The ground for a moment, oh, is it trying the... Trying to place the dampened voice. The figure shifted slowly from behind the rocket, revealing itself to Luca. Is it Nar, Dada? I'm a monster. It is Nar, Dada. Luca reached over empathetically. Iggy's tone jolted to dejected anger. Well, Luca oh. slumped to the ground. Overwhelmed by guilt. You might see your perfect little Luca saves the day. This positive attitude and the power of friendship. Oh my god, is this my little pony? It's my little pony. It's the power of friendship. It's my little pony. My little pony, my little pony. Ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. <laughs> oh my God. It's my little pony. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. They're after me. Who's they? Not safe, Luca. Wait, what? Treehouse isn't safe. So they were going to the treehouse. Did I tell you? Those perennial harvest wackages are after me. Less asking, more threatening. Hello? Is anyone present in this arboreal domicile? What is that word? What? Get down. Crap, they found me. Jesus. We would love to hear your thoughts. <laughs> Time for an informal chat? We will be brief. Your time is valuable to us. No loitering. There's a zombie on your lawn. That's, yeah. All these references. We have a problem. Yeah. Not all of it. Might young Iggy be present? I would love to hear his thoughts. Iggy slumped to his knees. I don't know what to do. I'm just so tired. Ew. 
Luca grabbed the walkie-talkie and headed for the window. Luca and Iggy oh. climbed up the back of the treehouse to its roof, where Rolo had constructed his MCDC, the Mission Control Defense Cannon. Huh? From behind the crowd of clipboards, William Kerr strode forward, a warm smile on his face. Can I say? Oh no. What is... What is this dude's name? Got some sense of your pal here. He's not well. Look at that gunk dude. That's a pretty big hog in question. All I need to know is that he's sick. Feel sick. Nope. Lost his fly. That is a hurtful thing. Kerr's smile uh -oh. faltered. How do you pop on down here? Have face to face. Luca's grip tightened on the MCDC. MCDC. Only teeny tiny fib I told you was that he home. He is resting, and he is perfectly safe. Now. What happens to him next is up to you. Ground, you're quite predictable, and I am the only person in the world who can help you. You can how this ends. Luca's mind raced. He was caught in a trap. What do you do when there's no hope? Iggy wiped his cheeks with a sleeve. What are you gonna do, Luca? I don't know. Luca drew himself up and decided to take the only option he had left. Luca drew himself up and decided to take the only option, the only option he had gave. left. Fight. That's super creepy. He swung the mission control defense cannon around, aiming it confidently at the smirking face of William Kerr. Lucia. <sighs> Luca summoned his most insolent demeanor. Hello, sends his regard. Kerr turned his back on the two boys. With a nonchalant wave of the hand, he uh -oh. made his- Well, fuck, that was obviously the As the clipboards shot. began to slowly advance on the treehouse, Luca looked to Iggy with resignation in his eyes. The end. That escalated quickly. Maybe discretion was the better part of valor here. Let's put a pin in this for now. Maybe we go back and instead of uh, time to bust out the tickles. Well, time to bust out the tickles. Check it. Beck lunged forward and began to tickle under Tisha's arms. Strange. Tears began to form in Tisha's eyes as she gasped for breath between gales of laughter. <laughs> Beck redoubled her efforts until Tish finally had had enough. <gasps> Iggy's eyes darted around, a realization dawning on his face that he was now outnumbered. Iggy kicked at the puddle before making his escape. Oh, oh no, and now it went on her. <gasps> Beck shook the ooze out of her hair as best as she could. <laughs> well, fuck. Chapter four. What charm did you do this time? Tickles. The best policy. Honesty? Luca paused for a moment, catching his breath. He'd only just met Beck, 
and somehow he already managed to drag her into this. Hopefully he could make it up to her. But finding Rolla was his primary concern. Yeah. So now we... Roxy and Fitz looked drained. It was clear they'd spent all day searching. Just helping look for Roxy's temper could often be dismissed as the impatience of an older sibling. But this was the most intense Luca had ever seen her. Her eyes were wild and unfocused, looking straight through Luca. In a torrent of rambled words and tears, Luca broke down. Roxy, Just wow. <laughs> still exhausted and angry, softened briefly as her eyes hunted the ground in thought. With a determined sigh, she looked up at Luca. Oh. Roxy drew herself up. Dangerous for a kid. Roxy tried to think of the safest place to send Luca. Luca wiped his cheeks and gave a quick nod. Scoot. Who's this chick? Looking into the puddle, Roxy rubbed her arms to warm up. Please don't touch the goo. Wait at the treehouse in case roll. I wonder what sign they were talking about that they rearranged the Oh well, look, a bee's nest. Bees! Luca peeked up at the beehive. It appeared to be deserted. That's strange. It's all because they're underground wherever Luca or uh, Rolo is. Mr. Nuncree jumped with a start. Luca motioned to the phone booth. Hmm? Boys' antics in Old Town worried sick. He has little pranks. He thinks it's a prank. Is there something else that you know? Mr. Nuncree gently placed one of his substantial hands on Luca's shoulder. Dang it, boy! Helpful. So that's what I've been saying. Luca peered up at Mr. Nuncreed. Kind eyes warmed a stern face. There was a deeper emotion hiding beneath it all. It was subtle, but Luca could sense something eating away at him. There was a blank. Oh, come on. There was a shame? That's what it's making shame me choose? Lurking behind those eyes. A deep sadness. If Mr. Nuncreed was that worried about Rollo, Maybe he could help. Mr. Nuncreed raised an eyebrow. Around the strange. Not scared by some garbage. Think, body. Sure, it was just some trash. This is people. People believe children. 
Mr. Nuncreed's shoulders slumped. I said A that. deep sigh bellowed from his ch Why did you have to? Luca attempted to take a step back, but Nuncreed's hand clamped down on his shoulder. The end. <laughs> oh, God. With a firm shove, Nuncreed manhandled Luca into the phone booth. They're going to the Ministry of Magic. The latched shut with a mechanical hiss. It is! Oh my god. They're going down into the As Luca pounded the glass, the floor dropped from under his feet. The inside of the phone booth was now a loose capsule plummeting at gravity's whim. They're going to the Ministry of Magic. Luca winced and pressed his hands to the walls. Oh. As he braced for impact, the capsule hurried to a surprisingly smooth stop. He felt a cold rush of air and opened his eyes with hesitance. Two large figures in hazmat suits occluded his view. Luca heard the deep, resigned voice of Mr. Nuncreed over an intercom. He knows too much. The end. Wait. No. This isn't the end. I know there's still much more. Somehow this went wrong. Again. Okay, let's try something else. Okay, so... We either need to go back and do shit again, or we need to go do struggle. This is a story about struggle. This is a story about struggle. Luca could hear a machine humming somewhere nearby. He felt around wildly, searching for something. Anything what's the gameplay time on this? Or what's the completion time? His hands found a hard object. Maybe a tile? He yanked it free, lifting the cold stone. Let me go! Luca swung the tile as hard as he could at the shape that still held fast to his leg. He heard the crack of glass as the stone hit the assailant's mask. With a muffled yelp, the hand let go. Luca was free and scrambled to the door. He never looked back once on the long run home. Chapter 3 Five to six hours? fine. The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. Catches the drop off mm, for Mr. Tolliver at the bag and wax. It's for Tolliver. Main delivery. Wait, why does it matter who gets what? Now she's calling somebody. Hartford. Now have a. Was oh, this the air effort? Both have the same problem solved. Jesus, do we seriously have to carry this? Uh oh. Rolo! Oh, this is when we went solo. So we didn't see the body this time. at the treehouse tonight. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we need to go to the something and wag. Bag and wag. Diner. Where's the bag and wag? The diner was back here. Jam rub. She leaned forward and pinched Lucas' cheek. Mm. Do I have to save this? We got another charm. How many do we have now? We have so many. Luca shifted the basket uncomfortably. Mrs. Fratelli lifted the cloth and inspected the jam. She carefully lifted out her jars of jam. Okay, one down. All right, let's look in here and see if there's any. Me, uh... Oh. This isn't terribly bad. Let's see if we don't behave without for this. Both. <laughs> Probably should have added more spice to it. Alright, where's the bag and bag? Dawn had dreams of becoming a big time reporter. I'll do it. At night, she searched for the story that could be her big break. By day, she hawked papers at the newsstand. Notice anything weird around town lately? I'd say I've heard some people. I used to lead. Coming from the big city. Interesting. 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 Eris Valentine, oldest of Sharper Valentine's children and heir to the Valentine fortune, had a way of making questions seem like demands. Mr. Wilder had learned to assume that if he was hearing from Eris, it was because she had taken issue with something he had put in the paper. Yep. One page of this morning's paper was consumed with stories about that silly f Hey. Change. Yes. Make that monocle a permanent fixture. Mr. Wilder averted his gaze and began to polish his monocle. Okay. All right, where's the bag and wag? at his counter, Hiram Tolliver was meticulously oh, more accurately. Here. Hiram Tolliver was meticulously shining one apple. Hello. With a yelp, Mr. Tolliver fumbled the apple, flailing at the air as it fell. He leaned forward. Do you have some me? He leaned in a bit further. 
Mr. Tolliver leaned back, speaking loud enough for anyone to hear. Ah, oh, yes. Jam! He reached forward and snapped up the jars of jam, giving Luca There's a, a secret little... message in the jam. Yeah. Of course, of He course. leaned in for a final whisper. Okay, that wasn't weird at all. How do you keep the ice cream cold? How do they keep somewhere cold? Hurt. Okay, that was a pointless conversation. <laughs> uh, okay, and then we need to go to what's his face. Dude, bro, who's got a crush on Granny. Got some jam for you. Mr. Nuncreed eyed Luca for a moment, then nodded in agreement. I suppose it is. He's a dog. Usually Juniper drops these off herself. Nuncreed snatched uh -oh. the basket from Luca. Bug. Oh look, the new friend. We haven't actually met yet. Anchovies or pineapple? Pineapple? Yeah. How old are you? Twelve. Follow me. This isn't weird at all. What? Why are we following her? It's okay. Just follow her blindly. Not a big deal. Your mom's? Huh. Beck locked eyes with Luca. The look on her face was equal parts expectant and Nelly, this is Anna? Beck gave Luca a quick nudge. Already feels like we've known each other for years. Is that what is wrong with me? For children with fewer than five friends, the probability of a stunted development doubles. Okay. Um, he's got plans tonight. Okay, do I have to save this game or does it just save automatically? This is a little cottage next to the big mansion place. Oh. Probably automatic. So go find Rolo. Meet back at the big tree. Right now? All right. Saved at 4.13. Okay. I think this is a good stopping point. Um. All right. Uh, we've been going for about three hours. I'm getting kind of tired. My ass is starting to hurt quite a bit, so we're going to call it a day. Um, let me see if any of our friends are streaming right now. Nobody is. So should we find somebody random or should we just end? I think we might just end. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Keep an eye on our Discord. I don't know what my... Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Um, no change to my streaming schedule for now. Um, I am going on vacation, sort of. Um, going out to Texas for Christmas, so uh, more details and exact dates coming on that later. Um, but tomorrow we'll be back on and probably keep playing Beacon Pines or back to League if I'm not sick of it. Um, 
But yeah, that is it for me today. Uh, none of our friends are on, so I'm not going to raid anybody. But we'll be back on 